this is the Rick Flair of Crypto, the OG in the house, guys. We got a great video for you guys. Remember, smash the likes, subscribe, super chats, and don't forget, I'm not a licensed financial advisor, guys. Looks like Elon Musk is getting in trouble with Gary Gensler over his Dogecoin tweets, guys. So we have a prominent crypto lawyer who sent a warning to uh, Elon Musk about that and uh, saying that you better back off, brother, because if you keep tweeting, tweety, tweety about uh, Dogecoin, you could be in trouble with the Gary Gensler. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, Bitcoin. We're going to talk about Ethereum. And Luna Tuna 210 is gone live on a whole ton of exchanges, guys. Uh, but the funny thing is Luna Tuna is, uh, you know, not having much volume, not having much sex out there success out there step by step guys not having too much success out there and that is pretty negative right there and we're seeing that also luna classic analysis is also going down dee, 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 down down let's take a look at the heat map guys uh heat map analysis we're seeing that right now that bitty itty bitty baby is above twenty nine thousand dollars and that's exactly where we want to be need to be and we're going to get there guys looks like we're getting a bit of a reversal or if not reversal neutral neutral in house guys so i'm going to talk to you about I'm going to tell you why, 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 why that, you know, this is a big, huge fake out. And a lot of people, a lot of TA analysts are saying that we're going to have a huge reversal to the upside, guys. And we're going to get it. You're going to get it. I'm going to get it. You love it. I love it. Let's get it, guys. So right now we're seeing that BTC is down, just gingerly down, not even 1%. So from my perspective, it's almost neutral, guys. Smash the like, smash the like, subscribe like crazy like never before. And we're seeing Ethereum out there as well. Is uh, you know it's almost down one percent. So Ethereum is being taking some hits right now, and that was because we had this uh, you know this whole uh, blockchain uh, you know problem uh, with the merge guys. So they're hopefully rectifying that, but uh, they're they're fixing it, and we're gonna get back up there. Keep in mind we got the Ethereum bridge coming in Oct August, and when that happens, guys, we're gonna get the Ethereum Dogecoin bridge announced, and that's gonna be pretty bullish for the Dogecoin guys. So right now the fear, the fear and the greed is at thirteen guys. I'll buy the fear by the fear if you're watching buy the fear don't panic guys because the whales the the whales are absolutely buying the crypto the app whales are absolutely buying bitty guys the the smart money is buying up crypto like crazy so you guys definitely want to get it get it get it so guys and gals looks like elon musk gets a warning about dogecoin and sec from crypto law founder guys so as you guys know that uh, you know elon musk has been tweeting 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 uh you know so founder crypto law uh, john deaton has tagged elon musk in a recent tweet Warning, warning the billionaire that his frequent tweets promoting Dogecoin could get him into trouble. And, you know, kind of like the same legal troubles as Ripple and XRP token. So, uh, you know, here's how Musk and his companies might get in trouble. So, John Dan responded to a tweet of a person with a Twitter name, la la la, and a letter wrote a sort of complaint about the, in, the unfairness of the SEC. Gary Gensler in the house has a long uh, lasting suit against Ripple. A company has over 300 large financial institutions. So, what he's saying is that if that you know and he said be careful elon brother because gary Gensler and the sec might try to call doge a coin uh, an investment contract with you and your company so he kind of warning the elon musker out there just to watch it be careful but we love the elon we need the elon and elon is our brother the doge father in house and as you guys know that uh, you know elon musk he did tweet 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 about uh, tesla accepting payment accepting payment for um, for spacex uh, merch guys so that's pretty good so you know you guys are gonna be able to go to the spacex website and uh, merch up guys gear up with the spacex gear and don't forget you can also gear up with the og gear so we got lots of gear in house so guys check it check it with the cap cap we got the mug the mug get some love show some love and gear up with the og gear guys and gals so you want to get it so right now if we take a look at uh, the doge going price right now we're seeing dogecoin is still above eight cents in house so you know this is holding pretty pretty good you know we did have this uh the spacex tweety tweet came out right here guys and gals and uh you know we we probably up we went all the way up from uh you know like a seven seven and a half cents and that was kind of like a seven percent pump pretty pump pump but it wasn't very long lasting because we had the debbie down and bitcoin was going down like crazy and you know the bitcoin dollars is way too high so you're seeing a lot of the old coins taking some hits guys it's hammer time it's hammer time for the old coins out there so come on come on old coins we need to get some moving on up to the other side and get some pumpity pump guys so hopefully we're going to have a pump up weekend we get some reversal action going in for the doge coin so where do i think doge is going to go i think 
definitely think that Doge is probably going to try to meander itself up to 9 cents. We should get Derek pretty darn tooting out there. But we really need, you know, Bitcoin to make some moves, guys. Make some moves. Who, who, who's? So, you know, Biddy right now, if you look at Biddy on the daily right now, Biddy, itty bitty baby, is at 29,000. So it's, it's doing better than my previous video when we we're like at 28,700, 800-ish. So, you know, I did draw this uh, line here a couple days ago, and I think that we're going to be following this pattern exactly, exactly as predicted. You know, this is a whole, this is a whole uh, lunar crash out there. Do Quan, thank you very much for killing crypto, killing everybody's portfolio in the house. So I know a lot of people out there had a lot of dumpage in the house. So come on, Do Quan, get out of town. And it looks like Luna 2.0, as I said, is live, live, live. It's live a whole, a whole bunch of exchanges like Binance, uh, KuCoin, uh, Bybit, Gate IO, and all that. But the but the volumes are so light, guys. The saw volumes are so light, and we're also seeing that uh, you know the Luna, the Luna, the Tuna, the Luna. Now the redub, the Luna Classic in the house is also. You know, it's kind of it's kind of been going down, d d d d down, down for quite some time right now. So you know, we can see that you know it's 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 kind of having like this whole this whole kind of like meme coin uh, kind of thing. It's just going down all the way, guys. So you know, where will this stop? Nobody knows. I remember, uh, you know, remember right now that Luna the Tuna out there is a big lottery ticket. So guys, never invest more than you're willing to lose. And diversification is key out there, guys. So if you're not diversifying, you are only risking your own wealth and your own assets out there guys and gals in the house so looks like you know this is from stock leaders in the house my brother my brother looks like when there's extreme fear the bottom is near so we're getting to extreme fear as you guys can see we've been there for quite some time and that means the bottom is near and has been true for all cycles before and this is a we could see a huge uppity up, up upside reaching 200 and $30,000. So guys, get ready. So the CCT boiler bands, oscillator falling wedge tip is at the reversal levels already. So we're about to get to the reversal level on the, the CCT boiler band. So, you know, a lot of TA analysts have been saying for the itty bitty baby that we're getting pretty close to reversal. All the indicators are saying that the reversal is about to come and this thing is going to blast off. And that's why a lot of, you know, a lot of the whale, 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 whales. That's not an echo. That's the OG uh, has been uh, manipulating the market and scaring the scaring the pants off all the retail investors because you know they want to kind of buy the bitcoin as cheap as possible and even with all this manipulation this 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 craziness out there we're still seeing that bitcoin is holding strong like crazy above this twenty nine thousand a dollar level and you know they're just not able to 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 send bitcoin down so that is pretty good 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 in the house i'm loving it you're loving it so guys and gals from that perspective let's take a look at bitcoin on the weekly chart we got one day and 11 hours left on this weekly a candle it looks like we're definitely going to be having nine candles and that's going to be a record out there so if you're not watching and you don't know nine weekly candles uh going down is an absolute record we've never ever seen this since the first bitcoin was made guys so that is huge we're still in my my blue box my blue box i know you're getting tired of me here in the blue box we're still way above the minor capitulation line and also yeah don't worry guys don't worry and you can see that uh this one, Velvet in the house, and he's saying that scenario 2x, 3.8 test, break resistance, and second equals back to 58,000 by the end of this year. And what he's saying is that, you know, we could definitely be seeing 58,000 by the end of this year, guys, because we're still seeing, you know, this is like a reaccumulation phase. We saw this back in uh, 2017, and we're seeing this same kind of same pattern happen again, guys. And, you know, reaccumulation, uh, tilted plate, and, you know, we, we're, we're accumulating and we're accumulating. And you can see that you know the diamond hands the long-term holds of bitcoin have been unchanged and we're seeing that you know bitcoin held for more than one year is not moving guys it is all the retail investors you know all the weak nancies that blew the low power out there uh, are, are selling up bitcoin they're moving a bitcoin onto exchange because they're panic selling the panic selling like weak nancies out there you know grow a pair already come on guys stop being weak nancies and we're seeing right now that the bitcoin dominance is you know it's still going up right now but it's kind of it's kind of start to well uh, let me just uh, blow this up for you, make a little bit bigger. So we can see that the Bitcoin dollars has been going up. It hit, a, it peaked out at about 46.93, and we're coming down, dee, 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 down a little bit. So we need the Bitcoin dollars definitely to be coming down. Uh, and if we can get it to come down, then we'll, your Bitcoin's going to turn around, and then the alts are going to go moon, guys. So we're waiting for the alts to, to make some moves, but we need the Bitcoin to go down. But the DXY is going in absolutely the right direction out there. We're seeing the DXY is also coming down, dee, 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 down, down. We're seeing also a uncoupling of the broader markets uh, for Bitcoin and 
and uh, NASDAQ and the S&P. So the NASDAQ and S&P this week has been going up and up, up. We had some good core CBI data that came out in line at 4.9%. So that was pretty good. And that was one of the things that propelled the broader markets up and up, up. But, you know, the, the funny thing is that Bitcoin has been following the broader markets for such a long time. But now it's kind of decoupled. So it's kind of anybody's guess where we're going to go, guys. So I'm loving it. You're loving it. Let's get it, guys. So zoom out. When in doubt, guys. So this one, Crypto Rover, you know, it's my man. I want to thank you very much for a tweet. So you can see that, you know, zoom out, when in doubt. And you can see that over these different time periods in 2012, 2013 to 2016, we can see that, you know, overall, Wendy Trend is your friend and Bitcoin has been going up, up, up. Sure, we're having these periodic spikes and valleys out there. But, you know, we have these descending, these huge descending triangles out there. You know, on the one month time zone, but every time we uh, we break out the upside, as we get close to the apex, we break out the upside. So you know, we're we're still a little bit away from the apex, but I believe that you know the reversals in. We got the boiler brands are telling that so many analysts out there are just saying reversal is coming, guys. So I believe it. You believe? It. Smash the likes, smash the likes, and don't forget to subscribe. Being house goes. This is pretty cool. Being so this is from the wolf in the house. Ooh, the wolf in the house. So BTC monthly RSI is at the same level as at the end of the bear cycle of uh, January two. 2015 2018 so we saw that you know the end of the the end of the bull cycle we saw this uh, you know end of the bear cycle followed by the end of a bull cycle so right now it looks like we are at the end of the bear cycle and we are about to go to moony moon and we're looking that we could be starting a new bull cycle coming in based on the rsi guys so what do you guys think about that smash the likes and comment guys super chats will be very much welcome are we going to be going to reverse are we going to be going to the moony moon do you think that we could be seeing an upside for bitcoin i'd love to hear what you got to say out there so speak up guys be heard out there i appreciate it i would very much appreciate it guys so you know from that perspective let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at leverage apes and house so let's see what the ab apes are at so right now we're seeing about 138 million dollars worth of wreckage out there about 50,000 traders have been wreckity wreck wreck and we're seeing in the last uh, uh you know hour right there we're seeing mainly shorts guys so that is pretty bullish because the short shorts are going to be a uh, short squeeze on the bitty itty bitty bay and that's going to create a movement to the outside and that is what we absolutely need if we take a look at the itty bitty baby on the four hours, also uh, a short squeeze coming in, guys. So, you know, we could be expecting a pumpity pump this weekend, guys. A pump this weekend, guys. Good morning, whales. And we could be seeing something happening and that's going to be very positive out there. Let's take a look at Ethereum, guys. Let's see what's going on with Ethereum. Ethereum is starting to make a move and we're at the apex of this descending triangle. And uh, this could be ind indicative of a break to the upside. We're still at a 1784 being supported by $1,700 level. So that's uh, looking pretty bullish right now on the four hour we're looking good guys we're absolutely looking good let's take a look at the uh, total crypto market cap right now so the total crypto market cap 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 is at 1.22 trillion so i'm feeling pretty good out there and we're at 44.75 billion and the bitcoin dollars at 45.34 percent and we're coming down did he did down down so i'm feeling pretty bullish i'm feeling pretty happy out there so you guys should be looking pretty good out there so it's 29,000 is the mark for bitcoin we're seeing that ethereum is at uh you know up uh down 1.06 1786 we need to get ourselves above 2000 dollars for ethereum guys we need to get it we're going to get it we're seeing uh, bnb is holding at uh, 304 and it's down a half percent right now we're seeing ada is down a whopping 1.63 percent it's at 46 cents guys i mean from my percentage it's not financial advice but ada is a good long-term hold we're seeing solana is down about 2.54 percent as well that's at 42 dollars in the house and we're seeing the doji Wozier is still showing some love and it's up 3.678 percent so it's like the darling of crypto right now because most crypto is down Diddy, diddy, down, down. Seeing Avalanche also making a move and Shiba Inu making a move, but we're seeing a lot of carnage out there, a lot of redness out there, guys. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm still not phased. So as long as I see that the uh, itty bitty is holding $29,000. I'm happy, I'm happy. So you guys should be happy too, guys. And if you're really happy, go down there and smash the likes. So some love for the OG I would really, I really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to go and follow me on uh, Twitter. We got 4,453 followers, guys. So you know you want to follow me right now. And boop the likes for humans, boop the likes for aliens and amoebas out there. And don't forget to give Super Chat. Show some love, guys. Show some absolute love. And once again, go check out the merch and merch, guys. I want to say God bless each and every one of you. I love it. You love it. Let's get it. Peace out. Peace out.